You gotta spit. You gotta spit. This already feels more dangerous than the last couple ones. Ah! Oh god. Ah! Oh. Inventure 101 has never let me down before. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying some fun ways to sharpen knives. By Inventor 101. Let's see what the first knife sharpening hack is. Also, guys, what do you think of my new pizza pixel hoodie? If you guys want one, uh, you can click down description down below. Anyway, let's see what the first knife sharpening hack is. Okay, guys, so here's our knife. And as you can see, it is kind of dull. See that? The edges are kind of a little rough there. Let's try our revolutionary new hack. So the first thing we're gonna need is a drill. Then we're gonna need some bolts and nuts. This one's already together. You just get two nuts and just put it right on there. Boom, bam. Nice and easy peasy. Then we put that inside of our drill. Okay, now apparently you just twist it and it'll sharpen your knife. Okay, let's try the old sharpening test. You guys ready? So these were the old ones. And these are the new ones. Oh, that does look a little bit more clean, not gonna lie. Wow, I think this is actually slightly sharper. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. So for this one, we're gonna be using my eight finger McGee knife. The reason it's called that is because my good buddy Rusty actually cut off two of his fingers with this knife. Oh, Rusty, classic Rusty. Anyway, so a good old test with this knife. It's a little dirty. Okay, that's a little better. See, it's pretty dull. And now we're gonna try and sharpen it. First thing we need is our tin foil. Dude, this is some thick tin foil. So we just wad that up real good. Just really smash it down. Ah, ah, ah. So once we grab that, we just start rubbing the edge with it. I think this is gonna take a while. Yes, just use the tin foil as a sharpening stone. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, that's looking, uh, looking pretty good. So these were the original cuts, guys. Kind of jagged, not very good. Now here is our new and improved knife. Honestly, that's worse. That's actually way worse. Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a hot glue gun. You gotta spit it, you gotta spit it. Ooh. And we're also gonna need ourselves a drill and some sandpaper. Let's go ahead and get a nice thin piece of that. Go ahead and cut that. And then it just goes right on there. Then we hot glue this bad boy on. Ah! It's hot, oh God. Ah! I've touched this at least three times now. Rip off the extra and that should do it. Now let's try and sharpen our knife. Oh, no, it fell off. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on there, just enough to hold it on. Then we just slide it back on. Oh yes, get right back on there. That oughta do it. Or should I say that oughta glue it. Okay, please don't unsubscribe. I'm really sorry, please. Okay guys, I can take I take it back, please. I for please forgive me. How? Please stop, okay. I'll get back to sharpening the knife, okay? I'm sorry. Oh wow, this appears to be working so good. This is gonna be one very sharp knife. Now we're gonna try the old cutting test. Ooh. It's definitely sharper than it was before. It actually cuts now, sort of. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. That's crazy, I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay hey guys, now it's time to try this bad boy out. Okay, so let's do the old knife sharpness test. Ready? Oh my god. Okay, oh! It has a hard time sometimes, you know? Sometimes it really gets it, and other times it really has a hard time. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that. So we're just gonna take this bad boy and we're gonna sharpen it. 
Okay, I already scratched my knife, great. So I'm gonna hold this. This already feels more dangerous than the last couple ones. I really don't like this so far, not gonna lie. This feels way more dangerous than the other ones. Now let's see if this bad boy actually works. I'm gonna truth, guys. Woo! Woo! Okay, it's actually cutting more consistent. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need the perfect rock. And I think I found him. That'll never work. I guess we're gonna have to go with plan B. Oh yes, a cinder block rock. Oh. Get that over here. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, oh. oh no. It's okay, I only really need this much of it. Okay guys, now we grab our knife, do the old sharpness test. Oh, oh, that's actually very sharp. I mean, it's pretty sharp. I feel like it could be sharper. Now we're gonna try and sharpen it on our rock. Oh, this hurts my soul. Inventure 101 has never let me down before. Now that's sharpened, let's see if we can do better than this. It's like the same. I don't know, what would you guys say? I think those cuts are actually a little bit worse uh, than before, if not exactly the same. So I'm gonna have to say that the rock method, uh, it, it, it kind of works. Once we get our bottle cap, then we go over here and grab our Dremel bit. Now I have to try and find myself a saw. Mmm, too round. Too stabby. Ooh, this one might work. And a boob a boop Be real careful. The trick to this one is I have to cut it at an angle. So just real careful. Oh boy. Okay, that's a little, uh, that's a, this might be a little bit much. I think I'm gonna grab a different saw. Okay, uh, maybe uh, let's try this one. This feels like a more appropriately sized saw. Oh yes, the old jigsaw. We'll try this one again. I think I might need a new blade for this. Guys, I don't know why this is so hard. We'll go back to this one. Okay, and let's see if that will do it. It doesn't quite make contact with it. Oh, I have an idea. I'll just shove another disc in there. It's so crazy, it just might work. Boop, boop. No, I cracked it. It's okay, it's, it's kind of sitting flat. How's that work, is that better? Oh, it's actually making contact. Now, I'm supposed to actually glue this to something, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna do this by hand. Even though I feel like this might be actually way more dangerous. Wait, I never did the sharpness test on this. It's okay, I didn't get that far yet. I should use a different knife. Oh yes, now this is a perfectly dull knife. I actually used this in the 100,000 degree knife challenge and it has seen better days for sure. So here we go. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so, that is very dull. But we have our sharpener here, you ready? Oh my gosh, there's like plastic stuck to the tip so it keeps getting stuck. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it around. Wait, is that the same? This way. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's a, okay, now the other side. Admittedly, this wave does feel a lot more dangerous, so I really should glue this to something. I'm just gonna vice it. There we go, tiny vice to the rescue. Thanks, tiny vice. Here we go. Okay, I think it's ready for the sharpness test. And, <gasps> what? It was a fluke, it had to have been. It can't do it again. <gasps> Honestly, it actually made the knife slightly sharper. That's incredible. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. guys, so for this one, we're gonna need not just one, but two lighters. Then we're gonna have to take them apart to get this striker. I think we might have the wrong kind of 
lighter. Because there's no way for me to put a rivet inside of the striker. Am I supposed to just take these apart? Wait, is that what's supposed to happen? Guys, I messed up. Uh, it turns out you can actually take them apart. <gasps> it came right apart. Oh my gosh, you totally should use the cheaper ones. They come apart so much easier. And now we have the little stone! Okay, now that we have our little flint striker thingies, we go ahead and grab ourselves a rivet and put it right in there. Then we grab another rivet and some wire cutters. Cut that bad boy off. I think that's what was supposed to happen. Okay, guys, here's another throwing knife. We're gonna start off with the sharpness test. Nope. It's pretty dull. The back is also pretty dull. They're both equally as dull, just like me. Okay, now we're gonna try and sharpen this bad boy. Okay, that's actually looking a little bit sharper in my opinion. Let's try it. So this is the dull side. It doesn't even want to catch. Okay, here's the sharpened side. Mmm. <gasps> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't work. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this so you can find it right down there. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out my last video where I try a bunch of Inventor 101 hacks. Also, check out Inventor 101's channel. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending. This is an awkward ending. Okay. Bye!